What is up, Calculus gang? Today we are going to be solving this double integral, but using polar coordinates to solve it. So we have the integral of this. How do we do it? Well, I just figured out how to do it, but I forgot a negative sign, so I'm recording this video again. But we're gonna not forget that negative sign this time. So what we're gonna start with is our bounds. So what do we know about these bounds? Well, we know that y dy is for of these, so y goes from zero to square root of four minus x squared. And we know that x corresponds to these two, which goes from zero to two, so let's write that down. I killed my marker last time, apparently. x is equal to zero, x is equal to two, y is equal to zero, y is equal to square root four minus x squared. So we start by graphing. Always graph these problems. Helps you a lot. x is equal to zero. y is equal to zero. x is equal to two. And y is equal to four minus the square root of x squared. Uh, you might not know how to solve this, but if we just really manipulate it a little bit. I hope you know what this is. This is the equation of a circle with radius square root of four, which is two. Perfect circle, look at that. So now we need to find where these bounds all intersect and create a section, which is going to be in this area, of course. This is what we were finding. We're gonna find the volume of that under this. But if you uh, notice, we have this is in terms of x and y, but we're solving in terms of r and theta. So we need to find what r and theta is for these things. So we start with this. This is basically the radius of our circle. So we know that, we do know that x squared plus y squared is equal to r, r squared. So here we just substitute in r squared is equal to four, or r is equal to two, which corresponds, you see the radius of this is equal to two, so makes sense. And also we wanna find what our thetas are. So here, starts here basically along this line. The theta of this is zero obviously, and then it goes to this line. The theta of that is pi over two. So these are our bounds, basically. And also, our radius starts at r is equal to zero because there's no like there's no secondary line. We're finding just this whole corner section. So here, let's write our bounds. So this is theta. Theta goes from zero to pi over two. And radius goes from zero to two. And But if we plug this in, we're gonna have x and y. So basically, we need to reevaluate this to be in terms of r or theta. So we know that x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So if we factor out a negative one, x squared plus y squared, and this is equal to r squared. So basically it's gonna be e to the negative r squared. And then dy dx turns into r dr d theta. And here now, now we have our bound. This is what we got. And if you notice here, we can actually do a u sub to solve this. So we're gonna set u is equal to is equal to the negative r squared. This is the negative, I forgot last time. You have to be very careful with the negatives. du is equal to the negative 2r or dr, or one over two, du is equal to r dr. And from here we could solve, but I'm gonna reevaluate our bounds. So u one, this is zero. We plug this into here, we get zero. u two is two plugged into our value of u, we get negative four. Boom. All right, now we can reevaluate our integral. So we have to write our first integral first, y over two, and then zero to negative four. And we have to bring out our negative one half. And then we write e to the u, uh, du, d theta. Now this is pretty easy. Zero to pi over two, one half e to the u. 0, negative 4, d theta. Evaluate this. 
Now this negative one half can actually come all the way out front of here. So negative one half. E to the negative four minus E to the zero is zero. Or negative one. E to the zero is one. D theta. Now we solve this again. These are both constants in d theta, so it's going to be negative one half up front. Theta e to the negative four minus theta from zero to pi over two. I'm going to remove this over here. So we plug in pi over two. Pi over two e to the negative four minus pi over two. And then you notice here, if you plug in zero to theta, it's just gonna be zero minus zero. Don't have to worry about that. And basically from here, we can just uh, just simplify a little bit. So it's gonna be pi over four. I'm gonna bring that negative inside. So we're gonna get negative e to the negative four. And then to the negative, it'll be plus one. This is our answer. Pi over four times e to the negative one. Crazy. Good calculus, guys. Good luck on your homework and stuff.